Hello guys, I'm Vlad from vlad to me YouTube channel. Today I'm going to review the Nokia 61 device. Uh, for this review, I uh, got this phone. This is my personal phone. I gotta mention. Sorry, let's let me do. Oops. Okay. So this is my personal phone. That's what I had to mention. It's uh, a 3G smartphone. Uh, it's quite of all. It's quite of an old device. Now let's go on to the left side. The left hand side, we've got a rocker switch. Uh, up and down, so this is control. This control the volume. Uh, this is a special um, kind of a uh, button, so you can set it to do whatever you want. Uh, from uh, the start, it actually got uh, got you to the uh, voice recorder, as you can see here. Uh, and uh, here is the secondary speaker. So th this uh, here is the speakerphone, and all the MP3 player, uh, the MP MP3 player plays. Uh, music files through this one, and I gotta say it's very qual high quality one. Uh, not that loud, but very high quality. Uh, on the top, we don't have anything but the radio antenna, but it's you know it's inside there. On the back, we got a very nice uh, cover on it that really, in time, got some very ugly uh, 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 what's that marks on them. We got the battery, which is uh, not our battery, it's not the uh, original one, but uh, this is a, a much better battery. Although I gotta say, it really drains the multitasking, really drains the battery, so you don't have to, you know, try to multitask a lot. There, there is a SIM card slot. I got an orange, got from Europe, so I got an orange SIM card. Uh, inside here is the cover for the radio antenna, as I said. Uh, okay, and that's basically it. Here is the slot for an SD. Whoops. A mini SD card, yeah, that's, uh, that's a rare mini SD card. This is it. It's uh, what, like uh, a, a gigabyte. Also, uh, you can uh, you can uh, put it up to I think it's four gigs tested, but I'm not sure. But you know, check out the internet. But I think it's uh, it's eight gigs tested, of course. Uh, the uh, cover slides back in on the bottom. We've got a port for the 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 pop port. Which actually is a proprietary Nokia port for you know headphones, for uh, USB connectivity and whatnot. Uh, I've got a microphone here, which got a very nice voice cancellation feature. We got the um, uh, the charging port, which is very sensitive. I'm going to say sensitive, so it really breaks easily. And uh, this is the uh, infrared port. Yeah, it has an infrared. It's infrared enabled phone. Uh, we finally got on the right hand uh, hand side. We don't have anything on uh, well the the main region of the screen. Also on the, on the front, we got an LED that really flashes if a new email is available. We got the uh, the main uh, speaker which allows you to talk on a phone, and we got a power button which gets you through uh, through the uh, the um, through all the profiles and gets you through the, uh, if you hold it, it closes the uh, operating system. Uh, we can see here a very large screen, it's a 3.2 inch screen, a very large and very high quality screen. Uh, it drains out battery, that's true, but it's one of the best screens I've ever tested. It also has all the uh, the light cancellations, you know, so you hold in the bright light, the, the, the image is even better. Uh, and we got the qu full QWERTY keyboard with uh, all the function keys, we got the shift, we got a, hu uh, a quite big enter here, a backspace, uh, a small space there, and all the uh, QWERTY, all the letters, you know, you must find on the QWERTY keyboard. We also got a joystick, which is very functional into those many years that I've used this phone. I've been using this phone, it really works uh, great. Uh, we also have two soft keys left and right. We got the menu key, which brings us to the menu uh, naturally. We got the email key, which brings us to the menu and or the messages. Of course, this uh, soft keys and this uh, menu and messages key can be cust uh, are customizable, so you can uh, make it do any other function. Uh, we got an answer key and a call key, and the uh, of course cancel key or end phone or conversation. So that's basically the uh, the appearance. Let's uh, go into the main subject. Uh, I've just closed the light so you can uh, see. I hope you can know you can see the screen better. I think this is uh, the best I can do, guys. Sorry. Uh, okay, so we got into the operating system. It's running Symbian S60, the last version I know. It's quite a lagging 
to, uh, through some applications, I must uh, uh, say that. So the processor isn't the best, but uh, it's uh, functional enough. It's <laughs> It's uh it supports Wi-Fi with a uh, 802.11G. Uh, it supports Bluetooth, the second version of Bluetooth. It supports Edge 3G at 7.2 uh, megabytes per second speeds, and it supports uh, infrared, as I te uh, I told you, with the infrared port on the bottom. It also can be synchronized through Bluetooth or uh, through the USB cable, which doesn't come into the main package. Unfortunately, you have to buy either an adapter or a, uh, a an official Nokia proprietary uh, USB connector. Um, as you can see, this is the smart, uh, as they call it, the smart uh, menu screen, which actually brings us the orange, the carrier, the signal bar, and the mode. It's uh, Edge or 3G. We got the date, the battery, and all the indicators that I got a mail, I got missed calls, and it's connected to my Wi-Fi network at home. It also has some uh, very nice uh, shortcuts there. You can go and launch, you know, like, uh, they're customizable, so you can put in any um, application you usually use. We also have the inbox from the email list or the SMS list or the MMS, of course, it supports MMS. Uh, it does have some uh, nice calendar and to-do list, so you can, you know, synchronize all your Google calendar or from an iPhone if you're coming out from a smartphone industry or Blackberry calendar, you can sync it very nicely. Uh, we also got a clock there. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we also got a clock there that, of course, it's either analog or like this digital. Once we get to the menu, it's a very nice, uh, simple Nokia uh, S60 menu. It's uh, it's classic. Now new things here. Of course, you can apply any theme to it you want. We also have clock contacts, log uh, tools, office web, which uh, I'm going to say I'm going to stop at web and say it's one of the best web browsers for uh, for the non-touch uh, displays. Uh, this is very easy to use, this is very smooth browsing and I'm going to say that it handles the uh, flash because it has flash enabled and all the contents online, all the images very smoothly. And we got all the messages here, we're gonna go to messages, we can choose from a list of inbox from, from the uh, actual phone, so SMS. We also get the Gmail, uh, Yahoo or any other uh, carrier you use for mailing. We also got the organizer, as I told you before, connectivity, on connectivity, whoops, I entered something accidentally. We got Bluetooth, infrared, data cable, uh, modem, connection manager, which has all the uh, Wi-Fi things, device manager, internet, cell phone, which is a very nice uh, SHA, okay, push to talk, I am, which is, of course, instant messaging, and sync, uh, that you can do, as I already told you, through uh, Bluetooth or through the proprietary Nokia USB connector. We also have the media, which uh, is not that it's not that bright into the media section. It does have a real player and a very nice music player, a voice recorder, some services online, and flash player enabled. I'm going to say that YouTube playback is awesome, but um, MP3 playback is not that qualitative, and um, you know MP4s are even worse. We got a help thingy. We got Orange, which is the carrier. Uh, SIM card uh, special features installations you can install any S60 compatible application I install some here like Google Maps, Nimbus, Energy Profiler, vHome, my phone and whatnot we also have Biz uh, <laughs> serial number which is a uh, internet service from Nokia to get your uh, service provider or serial number to search it online and search applications um, natively run on the system. We got the OV Store, which is actually a, a shortcut to the OV Store uh, web page. Unfortunately, it's not a dedicated application for it. It does have a file manager and a gallery, which I've already told you. Bottom line, this is an OK61 that I've been using for a couple of years now. It's a very good smartphone, not so good, not so bright into the today's uh, industry of smartphones, I'm going to say. I would re strongly recommend the iPhone for everybody who, you know, likes Office, uh, likes to play on their phones, and of course likes to have the best and the most updated phone out there. Also, I would recommend the Motorola Droid or uh, Galaxy S, Samsung Galaxy S for every uh, one who likes males and who likes uh, who is really interested in that business. I'm going to end this, this uh, review by saying that this is a very nice smartphone, but uh, you can't compare it to the last mark, uh, la uh, the Edge 
um, phone. So I'm Vlad from Vlad to Me uh, YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to see you later into the next video. See ya guys.